Hello and welcome to Android Zoo. Today, we are going to take you on a lab tour for our vector network analyzer facility, which we also call as our testing services. Here, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, appreciation uh, being given in the test and measurement world. We had a lot of excellence awards and you know, uh, quarterly awards, especially coming from, from Japan. Uh, let me quickly walk you through our lab, which is the Enritsu Testing Facility Lab. We provide a lot of testing services for our customers. And uh, say, suppose if you have a device that goes uh, up to, you know, maybe D-band or G-band, and you would want to characterize your devices, but you don't have a vector network analyzer to test the devices, this testing facility uh, provides uh, uh, the option for you to either come to Morgan Hill with your devices and make use of our test and measurement equipment, specifically vector network analyzer, right up to 220 gigahertz. Or if you're not able to come, then you could just send in your devices to us and we will perform the measurement for you. Uh, let me walk you through the entire system. Please follow. So this is our testing facility. And as you can see, we have a number of stations here. We have a two port, uh, 220 gigahertz DNA configured right now uh, for a customer device, but the same DNA can be configured to a four port system. And uh, as you can see here, uh, we have the VNA to start with, it's, it's a 70 gigahertz vector network analyzer. Then uh, when you want to make it a two port or a four port system, you add in few more millimeter wave test set and controllers. Plus the heart of the entire measurement system is basically these two millimeter wave modules, which actually give you a single sweep coverage from 70 kilohertz right up to 220 gigahertz. So what you are seeing is here is a customer device and these are devices on a wafer. And uh, uh, as I mentioned uh, uh, before, so these are our millimeter wave modules, but for doing actual measurements, you have to have probes that can also support from 70 kilohertz right up to 220 gigahertz. So the probes are coming from MPI, and right now this is configured as a single-ended measurement system, but uh, we also have a differential measurement system right from 70 kilohertz to 220 gigahertz, and the probes are also differential with a GS, GSG there. You can see here, we are running some tests and trying to align uh, some of the devices that the customers have. Uh, so uh, if you, again, if you have devices that you would want to test, please uh, get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to assist you uh, for, for making these measurements. On the back side of this lab, let me uh, run you through the other setup that we have. On the right hand side, I just wanted to show you uh, what all different components we keep. So this is a 110 gigahertz calibration kit. It's a, it is a manual calibration kit, but then this is the differential probe that uh, comes from MPI. Then we do have a single ended probe. These are our own 70 kilohertz to 220 gigahertz single sweep millimeter wave module with a 0 0.6 uh, millimeter uh, coaxial interface. If there is a waveguide flange just for better interfacing with the waveguide flange based uh, uh, MPI probe, uh, you know, that we have. Plus there are different brackets for different customer requirements. We do have uh, spectrum analyzers that can go right up to 110 gigahertz, but in the same form factor, the spectrum analyzer can be, can be extended to 170 gigahertz as well. We do have uh, power sensors in the same form factor that can be worked right up to 110 gigahertz. Uh, as you're seeing, we keep a lot of inventory for our customers uh, just in case they forget to send us some adapters or something else. So uh, the, the other setup that we have here configured is not up to 220 gigahertz, but this is a semi-configured uh, structure. So we could configure it for a broadband system going up to 110 gigahertz. So this particular module is going up to 110 gigahertz. And then we can also configure uh, up to 145 gigahertz. If the customers have different applications, say in waveguide structures, we could also configure with different bracket combinations to cover uh, either VDI or any other millimeter wave extenders. So this is Enritsu's testing facility where we keep VNAs, uh, you know, power supplies, uh, power sensors right up to 220 gigahertz 
and even uh, above 220 gigahertz if the need be. So if you have any of your testing requirements that you need help with, or you know before procuring the equipment, if you want to test your devices with the real equipment, uh, and with so testing facilities are always open and uh, we would like to help you guys in making it a success. Thank you so much for watching.